Today I'm out on location, actually in a restaurant. This is a place called Slice in Churchville. They make the best pizza wings right on Main Street. And I'm going to see if I can repair this old sit-down game called Hydro Thunder. I think this game was built in 99 and I've already looked at it and it had the picture tube replaced with a flat screen monitor in 2007 and the power supply in the monitor has bulge capacitors so I'm gonna see if I can repair this game and first thing I'm gonna do is open it up and I'll show you what the inside of one of these looks like Okay, for you guys that have never seen the inside of one of these machines before, this is what it looks like. It's got these boards down here. And I don't know much about the game itself. I know one of them's got to be a controller to vibrate the chair. And one's probably like a main control board. There's your steering controls. Down here is actually a Pentium 2 computer. And they've put one of those adapter cards in there to use a cell it says Celeron. I can't really get there where you can see. There's the processor. So I would assume the game is actually on the hard drive. And you got it like a main power supply and distribution board down there. It has a special controller card in the computer, which is tied in with all this other stuff. And then up here is the back of the monitor. which is a video game replacement monitor and brackets. I'm assuming the machine originally came with a pitcher tube in here, Wells Gardner probably, and it's been replaced. Because right here is actually the paperwork for the monitor, which is copyright 2007. 26 inch LCD open frame external OSD keypad and ribbon cable extra set of brackets included with this kit so yeah the monitor has been replaced so it's just a little over five years old and the monitor broke down I've already had this open once and so I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to take the back off the monitor without taking it out of the machine. So this is the inside of the monitor. I looked at it before and realized that these two capacitors right here are bulged. That would be the power supply board. And that's the main board. When they replaced the CRT, they used an adapter to convert from the old monitor to the replacement. And then the monitor has this keypad here where you can turn it on and off and you can adjust and align the picture. I tested for AC power going into the monitor and then tried to press the power button and couldn't get the monitor to turn on. So I'm looking at these two guys here and I'm gonna replace those and see if that fixes this. Okay, I've removed the power supply board from the back of the monitor. 
And like I said, take a note that this is a 2007 monitor that's been installed in a 1999 game. Well, not just are these two capacitors bulging, but these four as well. And these are going to be a pain to get in and out because of the heat sink. So I'm going to see if I can get the parts. I'm not going to remove the board from the premises. I'll leave it here, but I'll close the cabinet back up and disable the power supply so nobody can plug it in and damage anything. And there'll obviously be a part two to this video when I get the parts. So for now, that's going to conclude this repair attempt on this uh, Hydro Thunder game.